Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavan Mishra and I welcome you all. In this video, we will learn about tags in Cucumber. Tags in Cucumber are a way to label and categorize scenarios and feature file. You can see over here. I'm going to explain it. So they allow you to control which scenarios are to be executed during test run based on a specific criteria. You can see smoke test. I have given some tags to these scenarios. All right. So tags are defined using the either it symbol, either it smokes, either it smoke, or it can be any uh, tag name. Okay. So you can add tags to both feature file. I can add tags to the feature file. I can add tags to the scenarios as well. So using tags in Cucumber allow you to create a flexible and organized test suite, making it easier to run specific set of scenarios or features based on your testing needs so what i want to you know convey over here is like when we are using oh uh, let's assume one scenario wherein we have a uh, thousand test cases written uh, okay a thousand test cases are automated right and uh, when i run that um, thousand test cases it takes um, around uh, three to four hours to execute a full set of you know regression right so i I uh, I want to you know just uh, shorten that time and want to you know uh, run few test cases out of these feature file okay so I want to cover let's say scenario one in feature file from the feature file one scenario two from the feature file two uh, and from the feature file n I want to you know uh, cover scenario n or say scenario one all right so I'll be tagging uh, them with the same tag in each feature file and that suite will be you know uh, called as a as a, a smoke test suite all right so whenever i am executing such um, tags or such combination i will be using a separate you know runner file for that all right so it may reduce the time say out of thousand i want to run you know 50 test cases or 50 automation scripts right from each of the file which I want and using which or executing which I uh, can be sure that application is um, well and that particular you know, build is okay. All right, so this is overall the concept. We can use single tag, we can have multiple tags also uh, to each and uh, scenarios and feature file. Okay, so let's go back to our project and see how it can be done. So let me minimize the existing one and I will just close this, close all tab and let's go back to this SR test uh, resources and I'll create a new folder called feature with tags. Okay, so this is the folder where I'm going to create some feature file and then i will be creating one uh, a test runner okay so let me just create a feature file i'll be creating a file called test one dot feature okay and uh, inside which i will be writing on statement for feature like uh, this is test one feature inside which I can have scenario okay so this is uh, you know right this is Gherkin syntax so wherein we have scenario scenario one or scenario from scenario first from feature from the test one feature test one feature feature all right so similarly i can have given when i don't need to write complete uh, feature file and this is for the demonstration we can use given when then and we can write one more scenario okay Thing has come from the clipboard, so we can 
name rename it as scenario two from the test one feature and this is going to be scenario three as per this okay so we can have three three scenario array and let me just uh, quickly copy this file i will save it let me just run it and see if it is executing fine or not yeah it is executing fine okay we have not added any tag so all those are um, getting zero scenario zero steps so there is no uh, nothing as such like to execute so we will be executing it from the uh, test runner okay so nothing is there in the scenarios all right so for now we can just leave it as is and we can just create a test copy of this test two and test three dot feature file okay and now just come back to this oh, test runner we have test runner so let me just copy and paste it like Kukuma test runner for tags okay or test runner class for the tags with the tags so you can name it anything and i'll be using this and inside which i'll just mention this name okay because all the feature files are kept over here in this so whatever we are going to use for our demo right so it should be pointing to this and now this tag is kind of you know empty so we are going to learn like how to use this you know feature attribute of cucumber okay so let me just run this file and see what is there in the output whether it is able to execute all those uh, nine scenarios or not from the feature uh, from the test one test two test three okay so it has executed all those nine scenarios right you can see all those are passed test run one and test suite we have nine passed okay so now here uh, we will know like uh, how we can achieve this this scenario now i am going to you know tag scenario one with the smoke test so we'll use single tag first and then we will uh, come to the second tag and this i can mention it as a for the demonstration two two and this can be also two okay this is test two feature file and this is test three so that will be it will be more clear for us uh, like when we execute the test runner program test runner class it will be more clear in the output okay so from which feature file what scenario is getting executed what all scenarios are getting executed from which uh, feature file okay so this is three this is test two okay now everything we can save everything now just come back to this and use the feature i mean like i will be tagging this with a smoke okay so just mind you guys i mean just remember uh, you can tag feature you can uh, tag scenarios but you can't use this at the rate tag or uh, at the rate of i mean you can't tag given when and then these gherkin syntax okay so this is allowed for the feature and scenarios so here we can use some you can give some smoke test or smoke okay similarly in the uh, feature i will just save it I'll be using, I'll be executing this scenario. So I will tag this scenario with a smoke, okay, just on top of this, okay. So this belong to this scenario, particular scenario two from the test two feature. And I will save it and I will be executing this scenario, okay. So I'll be tagging this smoke three from test three feature. So I have tagged it and now I will run it. So if I run the test runner it is not going to give me the output expected output okay until i use that tag in the cucumber option okay you can see uh, there is a zero failure i mean zero failure and there is one test run but since i'm not using any tag over here so it is not uh, considering that okay the tag so all those tests are getting executed you can see all lines but here if i use um, the tag which i have used then it is going to execute three test cases right now 
So let me run it and see what is there in the output. If it is actually serving our purpose or requirement or not. So it says it says it is not able to execute. It, it didn't find any uh, tag, no test found. What we have missed over here is at the rate. Okay, so we have to give at the rate annotation. At the rate smoke. Now if I run, it will actually pick three test. So you understood, right? See, three test has been passed, and now you can see also see the first scenario one from test one, scenario two from the test two feature, and scenario three from the test three feature, which we have tagged. Okay, so you can see. So this is how we can use single tagging in Cucumber. Now also, if I want to you know use multiple taggings, uh, okay, so I can give something like it belongs to regression also, it belongs to performance also. Okay, so I can give something like this. Okay, and here uh, I can give smoke. Okay, so how how to um, distinguish this multiple from the multiple tags from the single tag? So we have and or not conditions. Okay, so we can use them inside the Cucumber options inside the tag attribute. Okay. So if I want to run this smoke test and regression, so basically if tags equal to smoke and regression, then only execute this. So this is how we can point to the uh, multiple tags. Okay. So now if I run, it will only get only one uh, uh, test scenario. Okay, to execute scenario one from test one feature file will be executed because it has that uh, test. None of other you know test uh, feature file has that uh, multiple tags inside it. Okay, so if I run it, it is going to pick only one test. Okay, so you see. It is going to pick only one scenario one from the test feature file. If I have this particular you know scenario, okay, in somewhere in the feature file two as well. So now test scenario three from the test uh, three will be executed. Okay. So this is how you can just uh, use this. Okay. Now two has been. Two test cases has been executed. Okay, now you can also put uh, R. Okay, R. So earlier we used to use um, curly braces. Now it is not uh, supporting. So we need to, I mean, um, put these. You know, at the rate uh, smoke or at the rate uh, um, tax basically uh, inside double quote. Only okay, or you can have you can have a single quote also. But as in when like you put this, it says. Let's execute with this. So as in when you use, so it is saying I can't convert from string to string. So we will see about uh, this error in the uh, later. Okay, but for now uh, you just uh, concentrate on this play. I mean multiple tags. So here I am using R, and uh, just in case like I have smoke, then I can or I can have something like uh, perf. Okay. So I can also I should be able also use I should be also able to execute that if it is written in the perf. So if I add the perf condition, okay, scenario three from test two feature file, I should be able able to execute it, okay, because it is written in the or. So let me run and see how many test cases are getting executed now. See three test cases, okay. The smoke and regression, basically these two, and perf also, okay. If I don't want to, you know, execute this, I will simply say not perf, okay, and not perf, not perf. So let me just have something like this. 
uh, one with perf as well okay so i should be uh, i should not be able to execute this okay or if i write perf here okay and uh, if i remove it from here so i should be able to execute scenario 2 from test 1 but i should not be able to use perf so that is how we can exclude also so i'm going to cover um it see it has executed and now see let's see which one got executed so scenario 2 from test 1 feature scenario 2 from the test 1 feature okay this because this has also for has perf okay so now here we are actually excluding and not perf so we are going to exclude this so that is how we can use multiple and a single uh, tag in cucumber or feature file all right so here uh, i hope i mean uh, in this this information was useful and you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section so i will see you in the next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching